The first page. Do you have any questions on the first page, Neil? No. I do. Um, the Betsy Peterson, it says a community project. Merle, where was that at? That was Alston or Harbor Springs. What um, did they do? The schools, the schools all got um grant money to do some type of community project within their school district and then the the kids that are part of the safe program yes. got to decide what that community project was oh so they did a they yeah i'm not exactly sure how what they did but this is part of it they she painted some type of mural to go along with um their um their project their community project Okay, As I just wanted to know because I thought, oh, that would be cool. I wonder where it was. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure. Okay, how about Cameron Leadership Consulting? What is succession planning? What is that? <laughs> I was there. Um, we have a succession planning is making sure that you have staff in place. So if you've got people that are going to retire, you're not just sitting there letting them walk out the door and nobody knows what they do, how they do it. Uh, Dr. Cindy Cameron um, gave a whole workshop to not just Northwest leadership, but also the leadership at Benzie Leelanau. So we split the cost with them um, about succession planning. Um, Benzie Leelanau is about to lose almost their entire executive team to retirement. So Dan's a little nervous about that, to say the least. Uh, we have a fair, much newer and younger group but there are other places in our organization and leadership roles where we are going to have people retiring and it's okay, how do we make sure that we have done the right things, put the steps in action to be sure that when they walk out the door, everything they do is covered and somebody knows how to do it, what they did, that kind of information. So did you put a plan together in writing or you just talked about it at that workshop? Um, she gave a whole workbook on here are the steps and how it kind of works and how you go about doing this. We did not write out an official plan, but we have kind of action steps on if you have somebody that's going to retire, here's how you start this process, here's what they need to do, here's, you know, and really the point is to develop multiple people who are beneath them so that if that one person that you hope will apply for that position, you know, something happens or they change their mind, then you have other staff members who are also um, being trained and guided to take on leadership roles later in their career. So it's really kind of looking at the organization as a whole and saying, you know, find a couple different people beneath you that you could help guide. So, so our goal is to put that in writing. Our goal is to implement. <laughs> okay, so it is. So it's to have a plan in writing and then implement it. Yeah, I'm okay. not sure if there was really like a, we need to write down this plan because I think each of the the leaders, like I have three people in my section who could all walk out the door at the same time. And that would be a huge loss of institutional knowledge. Karen's so looking, at, they're looking at each other. <laughs> I'm not really leaving you too. <laughs> um, anyway, it's sure that we have other staff that report up to them that we are already, you know, giving them access to some of these projects and making sure that other people see some of the work that they do. And it's not just from you on the day that that person walks out the door. Oh, that's really good. That is really good. I'm in very favor of that. Okay. Yeah, okay. It was a good workshop. And consumers energy, is that like one place or is that a whole year or what? No, that is multiple buildings for consumers energy. We have seven different um, buildings that we're paying on and they are actually on budget wise billing. So consumers, it fluctuates back and forth based on um, what the usage is. So it basically stays the same amount every month and then they evaluate every so often and that's what it was because i was like wow that's really high compared to what we've been doing that's yeah and that's um that's a couple of our buildings in the summertime the electricity obviously goes up because of the ac right. and so it, it will go up and then in the winter time it'll adjust, usually adjust back down again a little bit. okay 
Do you have anything on page two, Neil? Oh, let's see. I don't, I don't think so, no. I, I didn't either. They were pretty standard bills. How about yeah. page three? Um, no. On, on page three, number two, it says um, digital vision screener. What is that? I didn't know what that was. That is um, a screener for them to take when they go into the schools to do the hearing and vision testing. It's a new digital screener to um, test the kids' eyes when they go into the schools. Hmm. So it's like portable. Yes, it's portable. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Okay. And the only other one I had was the NWCHIR Behavioral Health Planning Initiative. What is that? Like there's, two, there's two bills there. There's one for symbiotic systems and one transform change. They're both um, contract payers for the North, Northwest Shire, which is the Community Health Innovation Region. Um, and it's for the Behavioral Health Planning Initiative. So it's work that they're doing for us in that program, Behavioral Health. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's coming in and it's like a pass through. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Okay. That makes sense. And that is that funded by the state. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Federal state. Yep. State. Okay. That's that's the only questions I had. I didn't have anything else. Did you, Neil? No. Um. I do. I do. I do have a maybe a suggestion. I don't know. Um. Is for from can we designate or or somehow mark the uh line items that are pass-throughs? That are Somehow. pass -throughs. Kind of like the- When, when, things, are, when things are things like this, this what we just talked about here. Um, yeah, because it is a lot of money. Through. Yeah, but and, it'd be helpful if those things it. were marked as such. Yeah, but um, I mean, I, for- I could- um, ask me, Look at it and go on. I could- but I could highlight that line. I could highlight that line and put contract payment at the end. Would that help? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, no. <laughs> I, but just put pass through. Put pass through? Yeah, we pass would know through. then. Okay. Okay. Then can, that way we know that is, you know, is you're just the finance. What would what did you say that was? Shannon, the financial. Sorry, the Shannon, you, you used the word for that. What was it? Financial. Oh, we're the fiduciary. Fiduciary. I guess yeah, you could write fiduciary after it. That would tell us. Sure. Okay. Yeah. That's probably a better word, fiduciary, and that way we know it's a pass through. Okay. Because that would that would save a lot of questions because there that was a lot of money. Okay. And that was for multiple months of work, contract work. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I believe that was six months worth of contract work. Right, and that that's reasonable if you know if that's the case. I I didn't have anything else that's, at all. I don't either. So it, it was six hundred and seventy six thousand five hundred two sixty two, correct? Yes. And then for employees, how much did that total? Twenty three thousand nine hundred eleven dollars and forty nine cents. Okay. So if we don't have any other questions, Neil, were you planning on attending the 530 meeting next um, week? In person, I, I probably have to do it by Zoom. Okay, so you're gonna do Zoom. I plan yeah. on attending and it's in our, our um, community room, correct? Um, it's right here at the house, yes. actually in this room. <laughs> I, I plan on attending in case people show up there. Okay. I think that that would be only appropriate to do that. So hopefully we'll have at least two people. We need two people, don't we? That would be good, yes. Yeah, okay. So we know we at least have two people. So yes. we can still continue if we don't have the other two. Unless those other two find, can they bring somebody else in if they can't make it? Commissioner Mason, I understand, is planning to attend in person. And Commissioner Turnbull is, I hear, in New York. Um, possibly getting a new eye. 
Huh. And then, so he, I, he, long story short, Commissioner Turnbull could not sit in for him, but I believe Commissioner Mason is planning to attend in person. And then Commissioner Hankins said that he is available for that meeting time. I don't know if we've clarified if he will be here in person or via Zoom. Okay. But okay. he plans to be here one way or another. Okay, so it looks like we'll be fine next week then. So if there's nothing else to talk about, I guess we're going to close our meeting at 10.53. Thank you. Thank you. I will have Melanie send this the pages out to you to sign through sign now later today. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a good day today. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Everybody have a nice weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye.